Let's see if we can't get him pulled in here out of the green room. Let me see here. There we go. How you doing, brother? Good morning, Danny. How are you? Man, I'll tell you, I'm doing better than uh, I really deserve, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> you got your island dreams and... Uh... Uh, in your backyard, right? That's right, man. Uh, Tiki Bar in my backyard. You know that. Uh, I love that song. We play it. You know, we've had it in the station for a long time. You know, and uh, it kind of goes with uh, the theme of what we got going on here for sure. But uh, how's things with you, man? Uh, I think uh, is this the first time we ever had you on the show? Yes, it is the first time. Wow! Thank you very much for having me. I don't. I don't know how that's possible all these years. But uh, anyway, <laughs> so. Uh, Tell everybody who don't know who Jeff Ealing is and, uh, you know, your whole musical background and everything that's going on with you. Well, Jeff Ealing is a singer-songwriter. He's been doing this a long time. And uh, and uh, I started out, you know, in, in cover bands and ri- original music and uh, just been kicking it around, playing music my whole life. At the same time, uh, working a full-time job and yeah. raising a, a family and wife, so... It's kind of tough, but you know, I, I still love writing. I still love singing. I still love doing it. That's why I'm still still here. Yeah. And what part of the world are you in? I'm in Chalfont, PA, which is right outside of Philly. Oh, there you go. There you go. And do you play uh, locally uh, there at any of the bars or places there? Yeah, I do. I do a couple things here and there, but with all the stuff that's going on, I kind of toned it back a little. A couple open mic nights and stuff and, and whatnot, but. Uh, Mostly, you know, recording and, and making videos is what I've been doing recently. Very cool. And uh, so do you play in a, in a band or you just play solo? Or uh, I noticed there was a lot of uh, uh, people playing on this song that we're going to be playing shortly. So are those uh, uh, people that you work with? Well, actually, I played in, in bands before, but this in the last couple of years, it's just been solo. And I, I've got together with this guy, Joe DeLuca, who I've known for almost 30 years. And uh, he's produced all my music. And along with him, we've got some great side musicians. These guys are just excellent. Uh, Donnie Lee Shaw plays the, the lead on this latest song. And Richie DiCarlo plays drums. And Joe DeLuca plays uh, piano and organ. And he's the engineer and uh, and uh, the man behind the, the, uh, the board. He's the master. So, and that's pretty much it oh cool man so how long have you been uh, have you been playing music your whole life yes i have i tr- i'm trying to be that overnight sensation but <laughs> if you ask my wife it, just ha- <laughs> it hasn't happened yet so it's been a, it's been a while but i keep telling her i just need one song just one song so maybe maybe this is the song but if not i still love doing it it's yeah. just like being a painter or, or uh, and any other thing you just I just love doing it I don't consider it work I just enjoy it it's a great it's a great release it helps me uh, get through stuff anxiety it's just it's just awesome I think yeah I mean people you know uh, musicians and people who write music and um, you know and then you know I, I know a whole other group of people who write books and you know that's that's their release uh, i know a lot of people that are carpenters and and i'm the same way when you know that's kind of if i can get out here and start building on something and be left alone or whatever man i can get lost in it it's pretty cool because it's almost like you'll sit there and i don't know where the songs come from out of nowhere the, the lyrics will just pop in my head and, and i just have a feeling when, I, when i'm playing i kind of know what chords to play it just it doesn't come easy sometimes sometimes they just come right out but other times it's just like pulling teeth but but this latest one watching the sun go down it kind of just came together it started to flow and before i knew it i said man i have a song here so i said i got to record this one as soon as i can and, and that's that's what i did yeah so when you get an idea for a song i mean are you uh, you know, used to we'd write everything down, but uh, you know, but now I guess you could just talk into your phone, and you know, because you can lose that, you can lose the moment or whatever. You know, if a song comes to you in in a, in a dream or first thing in the morning or whatever, and you know, how do you how do you keep up with it like that? Exactly what you just said. It sometimes you're driving to work or in the weirdest spot, all of a sudden a, a melody comes to you or these words. And you just got to say to yourself, I got to get back home and, and get the phone out. Like you said, I have a little Zoom 
record, but the phone seems to be so much more convenient. So I just get that out and I'll just put it down real quick, you know, record little bits that I have. And then I'll say, wait a minute, I got something here. And I'll keep working and working and working it. And before you know it, I'll put a little rough mix on the phone. And the way we've been doing it recently is I'll record that and I'll send it over to Joe DeLuca, who lives now in Ventnor, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And uh, he'll take it. And we, what we've been doing with all the COVID stuff, he'll send out the track to the, the guitar player, with Donnie Lee Shaw, and he'll send the, the track to Richie DeCarlo, the drummer, and Dave Kloss on bass. And, and all the tracks are out there. Then they all, they'll send their pieces in, and Joe puts it all together, and I'll come in and do vocals and the guitar work, and then we mix it and finish it right there on the spot. But it, it's, it's different not having everybody in the same room. A couple of the songs I've done, We've all been in the same room, but anymore you, you can just like mail it in. That, so that's basically what what happened with this song. Everybody mailed their parts in. Yeah, that is uh, you know uh, that collaboration, right? That that working together and, and playing off of each other's uh, ideas. You know, it, it, it you do lose something. I uh, you know I think uh, uh, from talking with a, a lot of the other artists that. Especially through the pandemic, you know, you didn't have that that whole, uh, you know. But they also told me they accomplished a lot more. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, they didn't, they didn't have to spend a whole weekend, you know, banging out something. Right, right. It, it is. You, you get a totally different vibe if you're here by yourself. But if you're in a room with a drummer, he might suggest something. Here, let me try this piece here. And you can actually, you can... Uh, uh, relate better when you can see a guy in the, in the other side of the booth or whatever and it's you can you can feed off each other there's energy there but when you mail it in it's it's totally different it's all it's almost like talking to you now staring at this little tiny dot yeah instead of being in person it's the same way with with music if when you're there in person it you get so much more energy i i think anyway. So a lot of people, you know, um, uh, like, uh, let's say, maybe not a lot of people, but uh, some people like Key West Chris, for instance, uh, he, he will he will write the music first and then he puts the uh, the lyrics and the words to the song. Uh, how do you do about it? Do you do the words first and then try to put the music to it? Uh, there, I, I actually can do it, but I've done it both ways where I'll have this little riff in my head mm -hmm. and I'll say, I don't know, where's, where's this going? And all of a sudden, the lyrics will pop in and I'll say, they fit this little riff. And there's other times where I've just come up with complete verses and chorus and I just went home and I kind of knew, I said, wait a minute, this is going to be in G, it's going to go right there. And it, it's almost like it, it, it plays itself so sure. it's because you've been doing it, you know, for so long. Wow, that's cool, man. Well, it's a, I like to call it a, a God-given uh, talent for sure to be able to do that. Not everybody can do it, and, uh, you know, some people are better at it than others. doesn't matter. It's still a talent to be able to put the uh, words and music together and, and then put it all together in a song. It definitely is. And, it, and some, like I said, sometimes it comes easy, and sometimes it's, it's a struggle. But, but it's worth it in the end. When you, when you finally finish something and you get it, record it and you put it out there you get such a sense of accomplishment that you said you know you set out a goal and you achieved it, it at least you got it out there and you're and it, it's it's great satisf uh, it satisfies it satisfies me and i hope it would satisfy the listener also yeah absolutely well let's go ahead and play it uh, the, it's called uh, watching the sun go down right Yes, it is. And uh, we will uh, come back and talk a little bit about it. If you're just now joining us, Jeff Ealing uh, is joining us with a brand new song, uh, Watching the Sun Go Down. Let's go ahead and play it. We'll come back. We'll talk a little bit about it, okay? All right, here we go. Seemed like yesterday we were young and unafraid Didn't have a care or worry in the world We traveled down that road Filled with memories paved in gold Now we're watching the sun go down We look to the west And hope for the best Just watching the sun 
beautiful right there mr jeff ealing and uh he's joining us right now watching the sun go down which seems to me to be like a uh, a journey like a like a, a journey of life uh song but uh that's just my interpretation you tell us a little bit about it i i think you're 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 right about that i i, I had a friend of mine who who suggested i had another song put out teacups and roses and he said why don't you why don't you write a song about because i i we live right behind this open field. And we get beautiful sunsets. Mm-hmm. So we post these sunsets on, on Facebook. So he he posts, why don't you write a song about the sun? And I'm like, all right, the songs have been written about the sun. <laughs> the Beatles, and I figure, well, how are you going to do that? So I I kind of got inspired by that. I said, why don't I kind of post or, or make it almost like a life story, like you just said. You know, seems like yesterday, and it's it's basically me looking back on my life and where I'm at now with my wife, and uh, the clouds roll by, but I can still see the light, and I just tied all these lyrics together, and I thought, you know what? I, I think I got something here, and it is about it is about a journey. It's about your life and, mm-hmm. uh, and where I'm at now, and, and we're both both here. We're, we're in the other side of our, our lives, and you're watching the sun go down, so to speak, but... I would love to hear that song be played in Key West as the sun's going down. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Well, do you ever uh, make it down to Key West? I've been down there a couple years ago. We went down, and I'm, I'm trying to get back. So maybe I'll, I'll put that on and watch the sunset right there at the at the point there. Well, we have this little bitty show down there, you know. If you ever get a band together or something, you want to come down and play in it. Uh, uh, the, the, the going into our sixth year of the Tiki Man Radio Songwriter Showcase, and uh, so we're always looking for uh, more talent. Uh, and we're on the big stage now, at Dirty Harry, so we got plenty of room. If uh, you had two or three or whatever, you know, something like that. Uh, nice. That'd be great. Yeah. Very cool, man. So uh, you're trying to uh, get this thing in a in a, uh, a contest. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and where people can go and vote for it. This is um this is the, the Georgia Songbirds. They do a top ten countdown every week. They have 10, 10 songs that make it, and every week they introduce four new songs. And it's Jesse Landers. Got to give a shout out to her because she is terrific with with promoting original music and I think mm-hmm. it's great and it also airs on uh, Indie Music Radio USA and they recorded uh, they stream it live and then there's uh, different parts of the week they'll, they'll play it again and again but I'm currently at number five I got into the countdown last week 
So what I'm trying to do is stay in the countdown, sure. get people to vote, and you know, and see where it goes from there. But I think it's great that that people that um, enjoy original music and just listen. I think it's it's a great thing that everyone in this countdown, they're tremendous artists and they work hard at this, and everyone should be congratulated. And I just think um, it's a good thing that they do the Georgia Songbirds and Jesse Landers and. Uh, I'm hoping for people's vote. They can go on, go online at georgiasongbirds.com. There's a poll, and you just click on all, follow the links, and it'll tell you where to vote. All right, Georgia Songboard, so, so, Songbird, georgiasongbirds.com, right? Yeah, that's correct, georgiasongbirds.com. All right, and the name of the song is Watching the Sun Go Down by Mr. Jeff Ealing. And so how can everybody uh, find your music, buy your music, anything like that? How can they keep up with you? You can keep up with me on. I'm on Spotify. I'm on ReverbNation.com under on the Jeff Ealing uh, YouTube. I'm on YouTube, Amazon, Apple Music, and, and I'm on Facebook. Just look me up, Jeff Ealing Facebook. I have a mus- musicians page, and I'm also my website's under construction as we speak. I'm just I had to work yesterday, so I'm trying to get that thing done before the end of the weekend, so I can take all my stuff and put it on one place so there you that's go where I'm at right now. well if uh it, you guys can go over to the the post i made this morning and i tagged him in it and uh, you can just click on his name go over there should be a link there somewhere i'm sure on your facebook page that they can click or you can go to georgia songbirds.com and uh look for that uh, song watching the sun go down and uh, that's what we're all about with Coastal Americana Radio is uh, helping out independent artists, and uh, we're always here to, to do as much as we can. Oh, yeah. All right, Danny, I appreciate it so much. All you do and all the, the rest of the, the people out there that, that, uh, that listen to original music, because you really need that instead of constantly listening to songs from 20, 30 years ago, which, which are great. But, yeah. but to be an independent artist and have people listen and enjoy it, it it's worth all the while. Yeah, well, we're in your corner, brother. So uh, good luck with it. And, uh, you know, anytime you got any music, you send it over to us and we'll get it on the radio for you, okay? All right, Danny. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, man. We appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Jeff Ealing, uh, make sure you go over to uh, georgiasongbirds.com and uh, help him out a little bit, get this song, uh, keeping it in the top 10 over there. And uh, you can go over to the post I made this morning, click on his name. It's it's in bold letters there. And then you can go over and do it that way. But just uh, follow him and uh, help out any independent artist you can. That's what it's all about. All right. Thanks, Danny. All right, brother. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, man. You got it. Thank you very much. See you, brother.